Parkinson's disease affects millions of people. And because it is more common as people age, it is becoming increasingly important. To make a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, we rely on detecting a phenomenon called bradykinesia. To assess this, we ask a patient to rapidly tap their index finger against their thumb. And we watch that movement and assess whether it is slowing up or developing irregular type movements, which is part of bradykinesia. Bradykinesia is fundamental to the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease and sometimes it's very difficult to detect. Furthermore, when we begin to treat the patient, we want to show that the bradykinesia is improving. And again, a visual assessment by a doctor may not be good enough to show this. My name's Stephen Smith. I'm co-founder and director of ClearSky Medical Diagnostics. ClearSky Medical Diagnostics was set up to exploit cutting edge research from the University of York into evolutionary algorithms, a type of machine learning. We've applied these algorithms to help differentiate, diagnose and monitor a range of neurodegenerative conditions such as Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. The advantage of evolutionary algorithms is that they can be used to analyse data acquired from hardware sensors. These can easily be worn by the patient on their arms, legs and head and body and that they can therefore be used to differentiate from those symptoms associated with Parkinson's disease and other conditions such as uh, levodopa-induced dyskinesia or multiple system atrophy. Clear Sky have been innovative in this arena and developed the technology that allows us to measure movement in Parkinson's disease. PD Monitor is a device that's been specifically designed to confirm the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. It's commonly accepted that actually obtaining an accurate diagnosis of the condition is very difficult in the first year. In fact, it's recognised that up to 25% of patients who have been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease do in fact have another type of neurodegenerative condition. The test requires the patient to undertake the standard finger tapping test, but with special sensors attached to the finger and the thumb. These movements are then analysed by the evolutionary algorithms and then the diagnosis of Parkinson's or some other condition can be confirmed. Instead of relying on the visual assessment of bradykinesia by looking at the patient performing the task of finger tapping, we now have the technology where we can objectively measure finger tapping and thereby detect bradykinesia. We also can therefore use the technology to demonstrate the response to treatment. The advantages of evolutionary algorithms over conventional statistical approaches is that for complex non-linear data sets, they offer a better discrimination between patients of different conditions. PD Monitor and LID Monitor are just the first two products in Clear Sky's pipeline of new clinical devices to help monitor, differentiate and diagnose neurodegenerative conditions. Future devices will use computer glove technology and digitising tablets to help identify cognitive deficits which are often found in Alzheimer's disease and other dementing illnesses. Clear Sky Medical Diagnostics is committed to developing products to answer the true clinical need and improve the patient's quality of life and reducing health system costs. I see these products as having the potential to make a huge difference to the medical management of Parkinson's disease, but in addition I see the potential for developing these products further in managing other neurological diseases as well.